Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we got a travel mug we're going to check out. Um, it's hot and cold travel mug, double walled. Let's check this out together. Okay, so let's get this opened up here. This is the way it came. That piece of tape on there. Kind of looks like maybe a carrier tried to get into it or something. 24 ounce bottle. Stainless steel. Okay, let's open this up. There will be a link to this in the description on Amazon. Um, it's the model OD335A. So, there's some information on it for you to read right there. Okay, let's open this up. I'll tell you some things about it here in a second. I do know it weighs 1.1 pound. Thought I heard something in there. User instructions. The body and lid of the drinking cup are dishwasher safe. So you can put this in the dishwasher. Air drying the bottle completely before storing. Do not microwave this stainless steel product. So you can't put it in the microwave. Of course it's stainless. Do not use bleaches or cleaner that contain chlorine. Do not fill fill it fully with high temperature water due to physical air pressure. It is recommended to lay it flat and open the air hole to avoid overflowing and burns. The bottle can be placed on in most cars. It is recommended to use it with caution to avoid water leakage if it is to be placed on the car due to the differences in car models and that's all it says there okay all right well let me read you something about this thing um, it can it's supposed to be able to, it is a uh, double wall vacuum insulation. It can keep the beverage hot for up to six hours or cold for 18 hours with the sliding lid closed. So, here's the lid. Slides. Put that in there. Now, I'm not going to do you know an 18 hour test and a 6 hour test and I'm not going to do that because anything that's supposed to be hot I'm not going to drink after 6 hours even if it's still hot same way with 18 hours if I put water in here I'm not going to drink in 18 hours later I'm going to dump it out so but what we can do is let's do a leak test on it and see if it leaks and then we'll take it out to the truck see if it fits in the cup holder okay got some water in here let's close this up okay not one drop is leaking out of that so that's good if you knock it over that's loud <laughs> it's not going to leak it is a nice looking cup um, I don't usually use these cups, but Monkey uses them quite a bit, these kinds, for her coffee and whatnot. Um, I guess it'd be alright for tea. I would actually have it like that if I was going to use it. I may use it. But yeah, that's, um, I mean, who's going to sit and go like this anyway? I mean, if it gets knocked over, you're just going to pick it up immediately anyhow, natural reaction. Okay, so 
All right. Well, I'm going to dump this water out and let's take it out to the truck and see how well it fits into the drink holder in the truck. Okay, we're out here in our Chevy Traverse. I should mention that if you have coffee or hot tea or hot chocolate in here, when you put the lid on, make sure that your top is open because if you don't, it's a snug fit. If you don't, it'll build up pressure. Doesn't want to go on. You may not get a tight there. You hear that? Same with taking it off. It helps to take it off. But here, let's put this, try to put it on. See, it doesn't want to go on. Now, once I do this, hear that little. Okay, let's see if it fits in the. I uh, I don't see a problem with that. There's the bottom of it. So yeah, it should fit in most most uh, cup holders in vehicles. Um, in fact, some vehicles have a place for your handle to go in, but that's like all the way down there, and that's you know, yeah. Uh, seems to be fine. Um, let's go back in the house. I'll give you my thoughts on it. Okay, so, I mean, you know, other than that, there's really not much we can do other than drink out of it. But, like I said, I'm not doing an 18-hour and a 6-hour uh, test on it. I have used these double-walled, like, thermoses before, wide-mouth thermoses for soups and stuff. And they seem to work fine, like I said, for coffee. You know, six hours, are you going to drink coffee after it's set for six hours, even if it's still hot? Probably not. Same way with a drink. If you if you put a soda pop in here, well, um, you know, 18 hours, it's, you know, going to be flat anyway. You're going to drink it and be done. When you're done, you'll dump it out. Now, this is, this is the one we've got here. And there's also one. That is pink and green that you can choose from. So there's two different color schemes you can choose from. Um, you got the dark blue and the pink and green. All right. So what do I think of the mug? I would have to say it seems to be fine. Um, it feels good. It's nice. Uh, one and a half pound or 1.1 pound. So it's a pound. So. I mean, you're probably not going to want to backpack with this if you're one of the, the minimalists that like to have their backpack really nice and light. But again, um, you know, if you take this camping or, you know, you get your co coffee in the morning, go to work, it seems like it fits in a cup holder fine. It's not going to spill out all over you. Yeah, I think it's a great cup. Um, it This is does have a four and a half star rating on Amazon so I'm gonna give it a two thumbs up for sure um, I don't know if I'll use it I may use it for tea or hot chocolate but I'm sure monkey will use it for her coffee so um, I'm, I think she'll probably do a review on it as well um, but I think she'll like it so yeah very nice it does feel good handle fits it's ergonomic yeah they uh, did, did a good one on, on this one, 24 ounce water bottle, stainless steel. Very nice product. I would recommend it. And <laughs> the link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.